Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and choosing to hang out with me. I'm trying to hide my nail because it is chipped and it is irritating me, so do excuse it. I'm addressing the elephant in the room. Well, you probably didn't even notice it, but until I pointed it out. Anyway, today we've got some cash to stuff. Uh, we've got 470 pounds and I'll give you the breakdown of where this money's come from. 70 pounds has come from my coin challenges, my pound coin and my penny challenge. And the 400 pounds, some of it is Christmas money, well, most of it is Christmas money, but also I do belong to a hundred club where we, there's four of us in the club, we all put a hundred pounds in and we are on a rotor basis to see, I mean, not to see, but we, we, we take it in turns to get the money. And obviously it was my turn to get the money. I've spent most of it because it was Boxing Day and I like my Boxing Day sales. Speaking of Boxing Day, how was your bull's Christmas? Hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Our Christmas tree finally went up on the Friday before Christmas. I know, the Friday before Christmas. But it was still okay. I still didn't feel the Christmas vibes until Christmas morning when we started opening the presents. And it was mainly my kids' expressions. And that was everything for me. And I think that just kind of reminded me that, you know what, Christmas is just about spending time with the family. And just putting smiles on people's faces it is not about spending money it is not about anything else even though my goal for next for end of next year is to have a big christmas goal you know to save more money but that's not that's not the focus that is not the focus anyway without further ado let's get this going we've got 470 pounds um we'll count it quickly so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's four hundred. Twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Okay, I don't have any change. I just went to the cash point and that's what I got. So the first thing we're going to do is finish off my 52 envelope. So if you recall from my previous video, one of my previous videos, we have got two envelopes left and we have got bonus and triple it. Why have I got two? Okay, yeah, bonus and triple it. I thought I'd done triple it, but obviously didn't. So what we do is we roll two dice, if you remember. Bonus, I'm just going to put like maybe £10 in the bonus one. Or should I? Yeah, I'll put £10 in the bonus one. And, well, let me just see. In fact, I'll, put, I'll leave the bonus one there, depending on how much the triple is. Because I have budgeted £50 to go to this, to, to complete this challenge. So what we do is we roll the dice. I'll get the dice. Right, so we roll the dice. Um, six and under is five pounds seven to ten is ten pounds and anything over ten is fifteen pounds so we're just going to roll once because we're looking for the triplet and that is nine so that'll be ten so the thirty pounds going in there but as i did put budget fifty pounds to go into here i will just do that then so we just got a bonus of twenty pounds I will film a, se a separate video of me unstuffing this. Oh yeah, and just that you know, the lady that where I bought this challenge from, I have contacted her. She went off sick, long-term sickness. She was not, she wasn't feeling well, so she had to close her Etsy shop. But she is planning on being back in the new year, so you might find this challenge in the next few weeks on Etsy. But just in case, just that I'll let you know. So this one is done. Right, so now we're going to do the mini binder, but we're going to do it differently. We are going to scratch this challenge, and this is going to determine how much goes into the mini binder. We're still going to use the dice, but I'm just going to do it differently. I'm just switching things up, obviously, tonight, as we do. So we'll probably do both ways going forward. But I was meant to start this, I meant to start all these challenges in the month of January, but I'm like, it's a couple of days before January. Let's not be legalistic and just start the challenges, Julian. because <laughs> I'm sitting on this money. There's no point in me just sitting on it. Anyway, so I saw a few people do this and it's they call it the randomizer. But um, the most recent person I saw do this was the Still Trying Mama. I just put a channel across the screen and I did say to her, I'm so going to steal this idea. So what you do is you 
um, I got, got quite a few of these challenges and that's just how I'm going to use it. So instead of scratching the challenge and saving the money, I'm going to scratch the challenge and then you're going to determine which challenge it goes into. All right. So what we do is we roll the 12 sided dice because there's 12 challenges in here. And then depending on what we roll on, we will decide to scratch. All right. So number six is this challenge. And we will scratch just I'm just going to scratch randomly and see what he gets so he gets six pounds but I don't have any change so we're just going to do this again so we just remember that six pounds number 12 which is this one and that's fine it gets 10 pounds I'm just going to see if I can get some change give me a second I'll be back Okay, someone back. So we owe the first, which one was it? Number six. We owed six pounds too. So I've got some change and I'll just put that in. Right, so the next one. Number seven. Number seven is this one. Five pounds. Number eleven. And number eleven we'll scratch out. Right, that gets ten pounds. Number twelve. Again, and that gets five. Uh, number ten, and this saves thirty pounds, four pounds. Trying to avoid using lots of coins going forward in this in these challenges, but we'll see. So each one of these is two pounds. Number twelve. Now this is probably going to finish now because we've got ten pounds left to finish it. Eight pounds. Oh, how rubbish is that? I'm probably going to, I'm actually, I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to put £10 because it doesn't take £8 just for the sake of, and this is finished. Because it doesn't make any sense for me to put £8 if it doesn't take £8. All right, so this challenge is complete. So the number 12 doesn't exist anymore. And we've got number 2. We've got three scratches left. And this takes ten pounds. Number six. So that's seven. Hmm. It doesn't take seven. Everything here is five pounds. It's the only thing about this challenge, it doesn't quite work the way I want it to. Six pounds in there. So what I am going to do is, all right, we just put another five pounds in. Okay. And the last one, number one. So each one is five pounds. So the last scratch gets 15 pounds so I'm gonna get some change all right so number one we said was getting 15 pounds so that is my mini binder done semi 80 pounds gone in but not quite but it's just according to the mini binder it's just that that way they all get roughly about the same amount but I just round it up or round it down all right, I just want to show you some happy mail that I got from GB. This is a new binder, a new A7 binder, and I will be incorporating this 
I downloaded her monthly challenge, but once again, it came out as A7. I don't know what's going on at my settings, but it's fine. So these ones, I think you use the dice to do this. So you can either use a six sided dice or 12 sided dice and you can save the amounts. So every month will be a different amount. And then I'm going to put this in my tin. So I've incorporated this year as well as some leftover challenges that I had from kit budgets that I downloaded and I'll add those. And those will all go into my tin, which I plan on doing. I'm not putting any money into these binders. And as soon as they complete, they will go into a separate file and then I'm going to track them. I got that idea from Budget Save Repeat, which is Melissa. She does it in a photo album. I'm just going to do it in a in a tracker of some sort. But she did track her challenges and I'm going to do something similar. I just like the idea. Yeah, so those are my challenges that I will be incorporating in 2024 as well as most of them. I'm going to do a separate video just to show you how which challenges I will be using to help me. And so into my seasonal binder, we just need to complete this one. And I think Bloom needs £10 to complete it. And that should give us £110. So we've got 20, 40, 8, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110. But I am going to throw an extra £20 in this one. So I'm going to start off this, I think we're doing spring. So I will do 10 and 10. And this challenge is from Budget Shun. And then this bloom is now going to be emptied out and distributed amongst the rest of the challenges, which I will do that in a separate video because it's going to be too long if I do it in this video. Right, so in this binder, which is my Save 2024, I've allocated £40 to go into Save 2024. Now, these binders are all going to get fed into my larger challenges, which is my 10K and my 100 envelope challenge. And this challenge is from Queen Bee Makes. And I don't think there's anything else that I'm putting towards this one. Am I? Yes, I think I am. I'm putting £45 into Rainy Day. I mean, into 300 Challenge. So we've got 45 Right, so according to this tracker, we should have £90 saved in here. Once this is complete, I'm just going to put this into my save 2024 and then restart the challenge again. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. So I'm just going to change some of these fives. So that's a £20. And there we go. And that's that binder done. Right, and to my other set, my second 2024 binder, I am going to put 40 pounds into this challenge. So we've really got 20 pounds in here. So it saves 20 pounds every week. So this will give me three weeks ahead because I'm already on week three of 2024. And that's 40 pounds. Right, so I'm going to budget at £100 to go into both my annual challenges. So I think I am starting um, in June. I'm starting July. Right, so this challenge is from the Almost Organized Owl meter. She actually gifted me this challenge. So let's see. So I budgeted £50 to go into this one. <laughs> All right, so we have got 15 plus 1 is 16, 26 plus 3 is 29, 
plus 5 is 35 plus 5 is 40. So that's fine. So I normally try and write the amounts at the back. I did say I budgeted 50 pounds for the spinder, but I will see how I get on with everything else. And then the next 50 pounds is going to go into, I think it's a section three. Yep, it is. Section four, actually. So I'm going to put 50 pounds into section four. So this challenge is from Javon Budgets. Um, but the envelopes are from 34 Co. So that is done. So that's my 50. So the next one, section five, is 90 pounds. I'm hoping to finish this challenge by at least end of February so I can start another annual challenge. I try and run two at the same time. So now that leaves me with one, two, three, four, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Do my monthly challenge. So I have budgeted, I think it's 80 pounds to this one. So I will see what I get. So we're going to start with the roll and save. Right, we're going to start with the roll and save. This roll and save is probably going to be in every single month that I do the monthly challenge. Just because I like it. Right, so I think I was asked a question by a couple of people on Instagram as well as in my previous, some of my videos, if I will be doing the January challenge because every month, every January and every July, I do the grocery challenge. And to answer your question, I will be doing it. But I will be, ever, however, doing it a bit different. So what I will be doing, I'll come on a separate video and show you what I'll be doing. But I'll, I'll be mainly planning, meal planning for that week. And then whatever ingredients I need for the week, I will top up. I'm still going to have a budget of £100 for the month to feed a family of four, which are two adults and two teenagers. And we will... I'll, I'll update you closer to the time. So if you do want to join me, it's not too late. However, I will give you the heads up. I'm very unorganized this time around. This year has, I don't know, it's just not, it's just been too fast. So I'm not prepared. More reason for me to do it. So it's more of a challenge actually, because I've not bought any extra food over the Christmas holidays. Nothing. So we're just going to have to see how, how we do. All right. So let's go to... One, two, that's three pounds. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's ten pounds. Three. One, two, three, that's another four pounds. So that's seventeen pounds in total. Three. One, two, three, plus five. That's twenty-two pounds. Uh, one, twenty-three. I don't know when I'm stopping. One, two, I think I'll stop there. Thirty-two. interesting to see how much I save this time around. I've never saved more than £60 in this challenge. So this monthly challenge, let's see how much we can put into this one. This one saves £40. So we'll put £10 into this one. I might as well put £20 actually because I don't have any change. So let's Right, so we've done roll and save. Um, 20 pounds and 24p. So each one is two pound 50. So that's fine. So I'll put five pounds into this one. And that's, let's just do a little black dot, I think. So it stands out. Right, so. And then this one, right, these two, let's see. If we roll one, two, three, four dice. All right, so we're going to roll four dice. And so we've got three, one, six, and six. So that is... 7 plus 6, okay, so let's do this. 4 plus 6 is 10, 16 pounds. Hmm, no change. Let's do this again then. 
So we got one, six, four, and six. Okay, so we got that's six and four is ten, sixteen, seventeen. All right, so we had seventeen plus sixteen is thirty three pounds. Still don't have any change. Let's just finish it off. All right, so we have got two, two, three, and six. So that's four plus six is ten plus thirteen. Forty six pounds, that's more like it. Right, that is exactly everything then. We have completed our money. And this challenge is from Rocks Budgets. All right, so that's my mini binder. My monthly binder done. All right, so that is everything that I've managed to complete. I will be back with my unstuffing of my 52 week envelope challenge and then I will reallocate that money into my sinking funds. I might withhold an extra 50 pounds towards my challenges, but majority is going to go towards my 2024 sinking funds. Um, so we'll see how much we saved. I don't know how much we've saved because obviously, yeah. Sorry, this video is a bit long. I do try and make my videos 50 minutes or under because I know my attention span can only take 15 minutes or under. <laughs> However, I do apologize, so please bear with me, and I hope you've made it to the end. If not, then it's okay. I appreciate you even watching halfway through the video. It means a lot to me. So thank you so much again, and I wish you all the best. If I don't speak to you before the new year, happy new year, and all the best for 2024, and I really hope that all the dreams and goals that you've made will come true. In Thank you. Bye.